Hey Leo, I hope you're all having an amazing week. This is going to be your lunar eclipse reading. Um, we have a lunar eclipse and a full moon in Scorpio on Friday. So we're going to see what comes through. You know, also keep in mind that we are at Mercury in retrograde until the 14th when it goes direct. Um, and we still are, uh, you know, we will be. We're in that solar, total solar eclipse energy from April, and it will last us until 2025, okay? My shop is reopened for my um, personal readings, so the link to my Etsy shop is down below. You can head right over there if you would ever want me to tune in to just your energy. And for the month of May, I'm giving away two free readings, 15 to 30 minutes long. All I need you to do is leave your zodiac emoji in the comment section of each reading that you do view of mine during the month of May. Um, everybody has reached out to me that I randomly chose in April, so those three free readings I will be giving, <clears throat> I will be delivering to people from this point on. And then now it's two 15 to 30 minute readings. Um, yeah, all you need to do is leave your zodiac emoji, your zodiac sign emoji. In the comment section of each reading if your phone does not have your zodiac signs um, just write you know Libra Aries Aquarius you know whatever it is that you are in the comment section of each reading all right let's get and for those of you that aren't you know if you're new to my shop I do monthly giveaways and by being a subscriber you can take part in the monthly giveaways um, it's basically just being a subscriber and leave it in any certain type of an emoji each month will be just something different letting me know that you're interested um, and then at the end of the month I randomly choose those people reach out to them through YouTube and then we take it from there all right guys this is how the lunar eclipse is going to affect your energy courage comes from within but that's the least of your worries Leo charging up your fourth house of emotional foundations and family matters May's lunar eclipse is bringing awareness to the darker attributes of your inner world. Whether in terms of your ancestral patterns or your innermost feelings, a part of your past is being eclipsed, but it's settling you, is setting you free in the process. Reflect on what validates your sense of authority and personal stability. You're rewriting the story and you're doing it for your children's children. Basically, it's breaking, you know, um, it's breaking coping mechanisms. It's breaking cycles within your life um, that no longer resonate with you. Maybe you feel that your, your nieces, your nephews, your children, for those of you that have it, maybe you're saying something to them that your parents said to you. Something that, you know, oh, I'll give you something to cry about. And it's something like that that you want to break the cycle of. That's just an example that you want to break the cycle of so it doesn't get, you know, transferred down from generation to generation. Oh, look at this. These don't belong in here. All right, we'll see if they come out. For my Leo's during this lunar eclipse spirit. Thank you. All right, we have Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? What is it that you truly want to do with your future? Who do you want to move towards? What is it that you want to move towards? What are you seeing synchronicities on? And birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. And coming from what I just read to you on how it's going to affect your, the lunar eclipse energy is going to affect your sign. That it could even be putting um, something into motion that you would like to carry on to your children and your children's children. You know, like having some type of ritual or some type of get together that, oh, you know, this stems from my grandmother and I... And now we, we just do it every Memorial Day for those of you from the United States. Or we do this every 4th of July. It's something that you want to trigger into motion for what's that, you know, for your, what's ahead of you. So 
your children, your, your nieces, your nephews, their children. All right, let's say for my Leo's during this lunar eclipse. Happiness. So you are moving towards something brand new, something that's going to make you feel so good inside, your soul happy, your, your physical being happy. I do feel for some you've been through a transformation, and if you look right here, there is a bird. So do pay attention to feathers, but also birds bringing communication. They're very spiritual be beings. And confidence. I feel most Leos do have that confidence. So I definitely feel like you're in your power. You definitely have confidence and you definitely have that inner strength. All right, let's see what comes through. Bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. So some of you might be traveling, physically traveling somewhere. Um, you could be at a distance from someone that's very important to you. And you, you know with that bird, you might have communication between you and someone. And you decide to either meet up halfway or travel to one another. This also could be you taking a vacation. You know, breaking free from any routines, anything that feels like troubled water or stress and anxiety in your life and moving towards peace and happiness. This could be the universe encouraging you to take a trip, to take, even if it's a staycation, just to take some time for yourself. The current situation, the star. So with the star and the six of swords, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But like I said, there's a brand new opportunity coming your way and it's gonna make you feel emotionally happy, from your soul inside out and it's going to feel like a dream come true look at this four of wands for some of you you could really be meeting up with someone and that causes you complete happiness happiness within the connections around you but this also could be a soulmate connection coming in Yeah, past energy, Ace of Swords. For some of you, this breakthrough might have already happened with the solar eclipse. And then the last, um, the, the second new moon in Aries, and then Mercury in retrograde. There could have been some type of communication that might have already happened or will be happening very soon. More air energy, but this is the breakthrough, the breakthrough to that beginning. Communication coming in. Honest communication. And the golden egg. You've manifested this, Leo. The golden egg is planting the seeds. It's putting your work within, you know, your journey. And this is you receiving. What you've manifested is coming to fruition. For those of you who say, I don't believe in manifestation. Okay. What you think about and you feel within your soul, it's coming to fruition. Look at this, King of Wands. You in your complete power. You feeling like that leader that you are. I feel like within this lunar eclipse, it's like you're moving towards a beginning and you're leaving, you're leaving the burdens behind you. All right, Spirit. Final message for my Leos. The hanged man. And the world. So where there has been a delay. Where you felt like things might ha haven't been making any movement. We're now switching that up. Now with the king of coins here, Leo, you could have earth in your chart. And this very well could be a brand new business opportunity coming your way. Business opportunity, a chance for a promotion. 
For some of you, you might be receiving a raise that allows you more time with your family, your friends, your personal life, where you don't have to work as much. But I just feel an ending of a delay, ending of no movement. Yeah, see, you're leaving the complications behind you. With the, the Six of Swords being clarified by the Five of Wands, you're moving past any challenges. And you are moving forward. Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, for some of you, you're going to be hearing from an air sign. Where there has been silence between you and this person. For some of you, it's definitely about a relationship, a romantic relationship. Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. But like I said, that also could be you nurturing the connections around you, spending some time with family and friends during this time. There's definitely something specific about an air sign. Now, you may have not spoken to your mother in a little bit or made that effort to go see her or your grandparents. One of them could be an air sign. You could have a friend, a soulmate that's a friend telling you to spend time with them. But you've definitely manifested this. For some of you, I definitely feel like it's around a relationship. Yeah. Look at this. The King of Coins twice. Spirit, why is the King of Coins here twice? Yeah, for some of you, there's definitely a business opportunity coming your way. You might even want to start your own business, Leo. You might be really good at something with the Ace of Coins here. Very good with your hands and your mind. You might be start thinking about starting a small business. Or maybe a business on the side from your career to make extra money. I definitely feel now is the time to begin this foundation. Instead of just thinking about it and putting it on the shelf, really start jotting down the plans, journaling what you want to happen within that. For those of you that it's about business. But I feel a career or business move for you that's going to leave you feeling very stable and grounded. Additionally, um, will give you more time with family, friends, and your personal life. And then for some of you, there is an air sign coming towards you. Like I said, we have specifically Aquarius here, but Gem Gemini and Libra. It's almost like where there might have been delayed communication, there is now an aha moment with this person. For you didn't think there would ever be a follow through, there will be. All right, for my Leos, doing this. And look what comes out immediately. Heart, love, romance, heart's desire, forgiveness. You are the querent, a person you already know. Boyfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. And this was in reverse. So where there was like that delay, where there, where there was complications and obstacles, where you or the cross watchers, you may have felt like you were in solitude, feeling alone. You're overcoming these. For some of you, it definitely will be about a brand new door opening for you in terms of business. For others, it's going to be this air sign. And look at this. Changing. At this time, the situation is in a state of flux. Anything can happen. Within 14 to 30 days. And this is temperance. Coming in for a reconciliation. Coming in, this person, for those of you that it's brand new love, coming in very balanced. They've spent the, some time healing themselves. And there it is. There is the communication. Making contact with you, Leo. Anything else? For my videos. All right, we'll take them. Yes, spring into action. Take inspired action. Start of the season. So with this being within 14 to 30 days and this coming out as start of the season, it may be like the very end of spring, beginning of summer. 
for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, very end of fall, beginning of winter. But this is you having that confidence. I feel like you may, for those of you that it is a soulmate connection, you may even feel this person coming towards you. You may feel that it's not over yet. 777. You're definitely receiving a blessing that's like a dream come true. And look at you. You're being noticed. Like I said, with the golden egg, you have put yourself out there, Leo. You've put that effort into your journey. And now a blessing is coming your way. Here's goals. So like I said, for some of you, it's going to be about business. All right, guys. Let's see what we get for our Scrabble tiles. We have R, I, E, G, A, N, W, D, X, O, And then, if you can believe it or not, these are all repeats. All right. So, Leo, do take what resonates. I do plan on doing a full moon reading um, for the 5th, which is also going to be around the same time as the lunar eclipse. But the full moon energy, we'll see how that's going to affect you. Um, that energy will, you know, obviously we're, you might be feeling it right now, but it's also going to be for a few weeks afterwards, okay? So I will be back for that. Um, make sure you leave your zodiac emoji in the comment section, letting me know that you're interested in two in the giveaway this month. This month for May, two free readings between 15 to 30 minutes long. All right, and go ahead and subscribe for those of you that are new. Have a great rest of your week.